Parque Itagui. Here we are. So, I think that's funny. Casa Luifer. Oh, I thought it said Lucifer at first. Okay, now I get it. I was like, dang, they, they bragging about it being the devil's house? Nah, but, um, Luifer. Okay. They got all kinds of vendors here. They got a big fake tree there. So it's a place where you can bring the kids, you know, nice little touristy place. This is like, this is the spot right here. Parque Itagui. Itagui Park. So I think you can rent those bikes. Yeah, like the blue ones, you can rent the blue ones and those, the other ones are people's bikes. So people come here at nighttime. You can see all the alumbrados. The lights, they light it up. It's really beautiful at night. Phones are pretty cheap here. Like, um, not top of the line phones, but basic phones. They have 4G internet connection. And, um, yeah, like $100, $80, $60. Between like $60 and $150. So, yeah, it's just a quick view of the park. Homenaje. Homenaje de Itagui. A Libertador. Oh, he liberated Itagui? Okay. Got a church. Big old church right there. That white building. Nice little monument. And a fountain. Nice scenery. I was looking to see if they have any coins in there. You know, in the US, they do that make a wish type stuff. Throw your money into the coin. Not into, throw your money into the coin. Throw your money into the pond. And typically, people are throwing coins. All right. Take a little walk again. Yeah, and the good thing about here is it's typically pretty safe. You've got cops on patrol all around. I'm gonna film on the way back. There's an area where it's all cops. They're like banks over there and all that. Look at this. I guess it's like, I love Itagui. It's beautiful, guys, it's beautiful. So yeah, this is, this is one of the biggest parks here. One of the most famous parks here. Most people be like, do you know what Parque Itagui is? Parque Itagui, Parque Itagui. Everybody's talking about Parque Itagui. A lot of vendors. I just passed on. Turn around so you can see. Yeah, all these people are vending. They're selling lollipops junk food or fruits, healthy food. Whatever you want, they got it. There's kids riding around playing. Another bike. Somebody on a bike, somebody on the bus. There's a lot going on here. All right, looking at a police truck right here. And then again, remember, the entire city is surrounded by mountains. You can see the mountains up there. So let's see what this cop is doing. Oh, they got cat candy. That's common. I haven't had it. I gotta try it before I leave. If I can find it, I guess this is like one of the most common places you're gonna find it. Yeah. Good old Colombian living. Reposteria. That is a cake store. A lot of street vendors. Street vendors. Okay. They go to police. That's what I was wondering. I was like, are, are the police going to stop? Just stay there or what's going on? They probably just stop for something to eat. They do that often as a street vendor. 
Selling mangoes. This is a really beautiful scene. She's eating uh, ice cream. So if you notice, South America and North America, we've got one thing in common. Overweightness and obesity. <laughs> but um, I would definitely say that we have a lot more overweight and obese people in North America. It's just a lifestyle, you know. It's a very fast lifestyle. A lot. Sorry, I guess they're playing. I don't know if they're playing. Hold on one second. No, they're definitely not. They're not praying. They're gonna do some like <laughs> some BS stuff. Somebody's gonna say an answer, and the blindfolded woman's gonna tell them who said it. Some crap like that. Anyway. I was trying to listen to see if they were praying. Like I said, this country is very religious, as they like to call it. They believe in Catholicism a lot. Let's see. Yeah, and the lights, you see that? That's one thing I like about the lights here. They tell you exactly how much time you got. 37, 36. It's gonna count down to zero and change. Good, it's good stuff. Yeah, so it's a nice view of the square over here. Nice view. Ah, I knew what I was talking about. I had lost. Uh, <laughs> Lost the subject for a second. But uh, just as a, a quick tip, at Grupo Aval, they've got like really good rates on their ATM, on the ATM fees. It's like uh, four to 5,000 pesos cheaper than the other ones when you take your money out, which is a dollar to a dollar 25 cents cheaper. Okay. You hear that? He's lying. They said the stuff is um original. It's not original. <laughs> Let's see, can you? Yeah, you can buy a piece of chicken there, or two pieces, however many you want to buy. Yeah, that that grupo aval. That's the truth, though. And there's another grupo aval ATM right there inside of the Banco de Occidente. But they got a little ATM right there as well. Use that, use that. All right, but looking around, you'll see the guys here are in really good health compared to the women. They are a lot more fit. The women, you've got a lot of different body types for women here. You're gonna have fit, in shape. You're gonna have some thick ones, but you're gonna have a lot of, as they say, trocito, which is what we call thick in the U.S., but it's, you know, overweight. But you know, they got the, the tatas and the boom boom. I'm trying to keep it G-rated, but uh, <laughs> yeah, they got a body on them, right? With, you know, with some big arms and a little gut sometimes. That's the way it goes here. But typically... Hold up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm looking at my camera, and it's, it looks like it's muted. I'm like, I'm not talking to nothing, am I? Um, but yeah, the thing is here, they have a lot of bread stores. And in those bread stores, they are also cake stores. So they sell cakes, they sell whole cakes, pieces of cakes, and they sell a lot of bread. And they're everywhere, they're on, all, on most of the, the um, corners here. So, people eat that a lot. 
especially women, and they blow up. But it's crazy, they still don't blow up typically to the amount that we do in North America. Oh yeah, here's that tree. Is that big old tree? Huh, why my camera blurred? Okay, there we go. Yeah, nice little area. Alcaldia, Alcaria, Alcaria de Itagui. Nice little zone, little tree. Look, they got the kids here. Nice little area to bring the kids, like I said. Let's get a little arty in here. But yeah, so that's what happens. But the thing is, there are a lot of people that are in healthier condition here and they're not as obese or as fat as us because of the culture. And also, when you don't have that much money, what do you have to do? You have to walk. It's just like in the US, there are a lot of people that walk everywhere because they don't have a car or they at least walk to the train and the bus station and that helps out. And if you have less money, you don't even have enough money to take the train or the bus, you're gonna walk everywhere and that's gonna help you out. You're gonna burn more calories. So that's what's up, that's what it is. I'm pretty sure if they didn't have all these bread and cake stores everywhere that they wouldn't be as overweight and obese as they are. But they're not, like compared to us, they're still not. That's the good, that's the good thing about other countries, you know. They offer more, offer more choices. In the U.S. is hamburgade. I almost said it. I said hamburguesa. I'm, I can combine the uh, English and the Spanish. Hamburguesa. We got so many hamburgers, hot dogs. That's what we got. Hamburgers, french fries, hot dogs. And the healthy food is so expensive. It kind of encourages people to... I hate to use that word, but that's, that's what it does. People are like, well, it costs so much. I don't want to spend so much. People don't see it as, oh, there you go, something Catholic again. They don't see it as an investment in their future. You know? And that's the thing about the U.S. The food is so expensive. Here, the food isn't as expensive. But in the U.S. it is. And that's sad, but it is what it is. But yet, yeah, to find morbidly obese, obese people that waddle around you're not going to see it that often here the funniest thing is it kind of takes money to be obese because you have to have money for all those snacks and all that trash unfortunately we got a lot of homeless people here you just saw one and they live inside of the entire city So here's another side of these apartments that I showed earlier. This is another side, they're building it all up. More and more and more. And I'm gonna walk, let's see. I'm gonna switch sides. There's a really nice view that I wanna show you guys. Oh, these are like chichiwas. That's the Dominican version of that <laughs> I remember in the US when some folks got arrested <laughs> for flying them you know you, you can't mess around in the US because that gets into the airspace of the airplanes and that could be dangerous what if that goes in a airplane's engine and causes it to crash upon descent when they're already flying slowly you know they can stall out and fall and crash directly to the ground. See how that construction going over here too? So they're probably gonna build more apartments over here as well. All those trucks. And here we go. Rio 
Medellin. Again, this river goes through the entire city. And whatever part of the city you're at, you're gonna see it. So we got about another, maybe three minutes of walking to do, something like that. This is really nice area I wanna show you. Well, it's nice at night. I don't know how it looks during the day, but it's very well lit up. It sticks out and it's beautiful. Yeah, so as you can see, the sidewalks everywhere. And I think my girlfriend said they actually extended the sidewalk over here and they're still extending it to make it safer for people, number one. And, uh, you know, just to give people a designated area to walk. Yep, you can tell. They're expanding and everything, so. Yep. Almost here. There's a store. Metro. They're not that cheap. So I won't be going there. <laughs> More construction. That's the same area extended from what I showed you earlier. It's going all through there. Who knows what they're going to put there. If they're going to be... They're gonna make a, a road to connect everything and widen the road. They're doing that a lot here. Or if they're going to make, uh, put more apartments, all of that. So we'll see in the future. Okay, so we made it. This area at nighttime is completely beautiful. Got the mountains again. Over there, you got some more mountains. You got some here. Anyway, I'm looking for this sign. It's like really high in the sky. You can see it easily at night. I'm having trouble seeing it right now. Some kind of advertisement. Let's see if I can see it. And the craziest thing is from the train station, it's really... It's like high up, it's elevated, and this is elevated as well. So all the way like six miles away from here, you can see all of this up here. You can see it elevated. And especially at night, you can see that sign I'm talking about. I'm still looking for it, I don't see it yet. And I don't think I'm gonna see it, unfortunately. I think it's something that you can see easily at night because you don't have to know exactly where it is. And I do not know exactly where it is. So I can't see it. But again, Rio Medellin, that passes through all the entire city. I'm sad, y'all. I'm not seeing what I was looking for. Oh look, they sell eggs. 17,000 pesos. I don't know if you saw it. There's some street vendors. They sell the eggs, 17,000 pesos. I think for like 24. 17,000, that'll be a little bit over $4. So all of this at nighttime is extremely lit up. It's beautiful, all kinds of different colors and lights. Then there's a sign in the sky somewhere up in the mountains, but I don't see it. I'm sad about that. I think it's straight up there because there's this landmark that I can see, but I just don't see the sign. Ah, oh well. Rio Medellin continues. Rio Medellin, Rio Medellin, Rio Medellin. All right, let's walk back. Metro. Graffiti. 
Ah, something I wanted to say too. Most cars out here are stick shift. Five speed, typically five speed, sometimes six, but typically five. What do you call that? Manual, manual vehicles. You know, folks out here don't mind doing work. They don't mind shifting those gears, burning a few more calories. Oh man, another soccer ball. I wish I could get down there easily. I have two balls. To go to the little soccer field and kick it around that. But yeah, you can see everybody's walking. Families get out and walk together. It's just something that doesn't happen in the U.S. that often. It's a really nice thing. That's why I always go to Latin American countries. I'm like, hey, I need to get some exercise in. I go overseas. Because look at these, look at these huge sidewalks. You got enough space for, look, people on bikes, people who walk by. It's a lot safer, it's a lot more comfortable. That's what it's all about. Who wants to walk in the street or on bumpy grass and bumpy dirt roads and fall, twist your ankle, all that kind of crap. You have to be careful about that here with the trash roads, but if you go to the nice areas like this, the nicely paved areas, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Gotta love it. Got to love it. If you want to lose weight, you'll easily lose weight walking around out here and making sure to eat the healthy food. As soon as you do that, you're going to lose tons of fat. That's how I did it. I went from 269 down to like 202. Now I'm kind of at a stuck point. I'm hovering between like 202 and 209, but I'll keep going and hopefully break through. But yeah, I'm way healthier. In the past, I'd be... <gasps> and if you look to your right, <laughs> I'd be dying. I'm doing all right now. Sounds like people in church. They don't sound bad. I guess a lot of people are in church or either hanging out with family. Sunday morning here, kind of similar to the U.S. So, that's why it's dead. That's a taxista, taxi driver. They hate me because I never, hardly ever use a taxi. That's the whole point of me being here. <laughs> ah, here we go. It's an airplane. I knew we were going to see one. They pass all through here. So, we're bound to see one. But yeah, there's an airport. A regional airport right down the street. It is about... From where I stay, it's about... Four miles... Yeah, it's like four miles exactly. From here, it's going to be like five and a half or six miles. I'm down the street a little bit. <laughs> They're flying their kites. Let's wrap it on up. Oh, some more graffiti, of course. Let's wrap it on up. So, there's a nice little tour that we did of the city. A lot of people have dogs, as you can tell. They like German Shepherds. 
a lot here. A lot of people have German Shepherds and they also have the Golden Dog. I'm forgetting that guy's name. Golden Retriever. <laughs> it's in the name. How did I forget that? But yeah, they have, I was going to say the Airbud Dog. <laughs> they have that dog as well. Um, this is where you rent bicycles again. I believe. Pretty sure that's what it is. And yep. I'm gonna continue my walking. Let's see where I'm at. Currently at nothing. 3.83 miles. You cannot see my screen for nothing. Try to get in the shade, see if that helps. Yeah. 3.83 to get back home it's about 2.2 miles so that'll put me at what at least six but i've been slacking lately i've been getting eight miles a day in i'm used to getting 10 plus but um eight's still good it's good for the old ticker right yeah all right y'all well Thanks for looking. <laughs> wow, I didn't know it was going to be. Oh, there they go with the kite. See it? <laughs> Trying to get it in the air. Trying to get it to cooperate with the, um, the wind. <laughs> Good luck, fellas. Didn't work that time, but that's okay. There's always time for more. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. 27 minutes and ticking, still counting. Didn't know it was gonna be that long, sorry. But uh, got a pretty good tour. What the city looks like. Oh, here we go again. Got to see all the mountains, all the scenery. Great town, safe town. Very nice area to walk around in. So that's what I like to do. I spend my days here walking around, losing weight, exercising, uh, exercising for the ticker, keeping the ticker healthy. But yeah, I hope all y'all that traveled as well, get your, your exercise in and eat well while you're traveling. Don't eat the same as you eat in the U.S. Hamburgers, hot dogs, pizzas, all that crap. Because they surely do have it here as well. It's not just an American thing. It's universal. They've got Papa John's here. They have Domino's here. I've seen both of them. They have Little Caesars in DR. I've never seen Little Caesars here. For some reason, they didn't make it here. But they've got everything, you know. So the options are on you all. If you want to stay healthy while you're traveling. Or are you just going to keep doing the same crap you do in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah. Stay healthy. Keep exercising, doing your thing. Enjoy yourself. Make sure to travel. You gotta travel. See the world. Really appreciate what you've got. We're so privileged to be Americans and live a life as Americans. There's a job everywhere. If you want to work today, you can work today. You can get you two, three, four, five jobs, however jobs, however many jobs you want to have. Side hustles, gigs, careers. You can change your life just like that. It's all a decision in the U.S., you know, to be, uh, focus and if you want to make a lot of money but in other countries they don't have the same benefit so really take advantage of the opportunity that we have as Americans because we are truly blessed and it's sad that in other countries they don't have it as easy as we do you know they can't just say oh my boss is a jerk. I'm gonna switch my job. It's not that easy. 
It's not that easy at all. You quit that job and you might not find another job. And if you want to do something like Uber here, all right, cool. But you have to have the money for the vehicle. They don't have the rent a vehicle option like we do in the US. Once you have the vehicle, yeah, you can make a lot of money doing it. But it takes money to make money, as they say. So, um, yeah, just appreciate what you have. You know, you're an American. You have the opportunity to really make it big in spite of racism, in spite of haters, in spite of everything. limitless opportunities take advantage of those opportunities because other people aren't as lucky in this little thing that we call life so that's one thing that always inspires me to go harder to switch it up to make sure you know I'm, I stay grinding and saving my money that way I can afford to travel, I can afford to have my own personal retirement fund, not just social security, because who knows if that's gonna be around by the time I make it, or if I'll even make it to be a senior citizen. So. All right, y'all. I've been talking forever. <laughs> it's 32 minutes now, roughly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. But yeah. Life is beautiful. Well, life can be beautiful. It's not beautiful for everybody. So, my main advice would just be to aprovecha. Take advantage of your situation. Live the best life that you can. Do good deeds. Don't be out looking to take advantage of people. God, this and that. And while they're doing the worst deeds ever. Killing, raping, talking crap, hating, making sure people, you know, blocking people's blessings, all of that. Like, all these things happen. Racist people. Discrimination, all kinds of stuff. These people who are more Christians or whatever religion. I'm not just going to throw Christians on the bus. a good person because you're a good person. Not you should be a good person. A lot of hypocrites out here. Don't be one. Alright y'all, I'm signing off.